that the alde group is very pleased with the fact that the joint motion for the resolution on the nineteenth session of the un human rights council has charged the delegation of the european parliament with a mandate to address a wide scope of human rights issues that have recently arisen very painfully. We, with regard to the key issues of Burma, North Korea, Syria, Libya and Iran, we would like to point out the role of the <clears throat> Russian Federation and the People's Republic of China in reaching a constructive resolution of several crises. We deplore the reluctance of the two non-democratic regimes to cooperate in the UN Security Council, in particular by vetoing the adoption of the resolution on Syria. The hypocrisy of Mr. Lavrov when calling the, for the stabilization of the country is incredible. It's not secret that the, the Kremlin only wishes to maintain access to Tartus naval base, which, is, which has um, uh, his staffed with Soviet and Russian military personnel since 1971, when Soviet Union and Syria signed the, such an agreement. The Cold War is over and we must set aside the neo-colonialist discourse of spheres of influence. That also applies to Beijing, that is increasingly suppressing the freedom of thought, conscience and religion in Tibet. This has led to an increasing number of self-immolations of both temporal and spiritual people in Tibet. The EU and its member states must consistently pursue a meaningful dialogue with China on human rights and raise those issues on every possible occasion. Finally, I would like to stress the importance of combating discrimination of all grounds also in the European Union, including gender, race, nationality, age, sexual orientation and religion. Thank you, Mr. President.